and she says to me, oh, you're 38 and one today? And I said, you know, yeah. And she said, oh, he's not measuring that. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about uh, the pregnancy update. I am 38 weeks and one day today, so this is my 38 week bump date. My two year old is up and running rampant, so we'll see how this goes. I had my 38 week appointments today, and we have a lot to talk about. So let's get right into baby facts first for week 38. As always, I'm using my The Bump app. Baby is roughly 19.6 inches long, weighing roughly 6.61 pounds, as big as a winter watermelon. Huge, fully grown. <laughs> baby may have an inch or so of hair already. At this point, baby's organs are fully developed, except for their lungs. Their lungs mature up until delivery. Like I said in my last update, there's not really much to update on as far as baby at this point because everything is pretty much ready to go. Oh, bear with me. We'll get to why I am the way I am right now in a minute. So this week I lost a pound. Not sure how that happened at all. Other symptoms include I have been been having more contractions here and there still nothing painful i just want to reiterate too that if i say something like braxton hicks are not painful or stuff like that i'm not saying that in a general sense i'm talking about for me i have not experienced painful braxton hicks contractions i have experienced what i know are contractions they are tight they are uncomfortable they are obvious preparation contractions they don't hurt me. That's not the case for everybody. Some people have painful Braxton Hicks. So don't take what I'm saying as a general statement when I do these. I'm talking about me personally. So aside from that, I have just been feeling general exhaustion. The kind that's just like, okay, you have a full grown baby taking everything from you at this point. So I'm tired much of the time. This past week, I am wanting a lot of sweets a lot of sweets <laughs> i'm not having them a lot throughout the day but i am having them at least every night i try to make better decisions and i'll have like a bowl of honey nut cheerios instead of whatever else might be available one thing i've been doing a lot of this isn't really a symptom but i have been binge watching birth vlogs and mommy vloggers who have day in the life videos of having a toddler and a newborn just to kind of get an idea of like what my life is going to be like um, and birth vlogs are just beautiful, but it's really like hyping me up for Kane to be here, honestly. I've really been more excited than anything else until today. <laughs> until today, I've been so excited. I, I'm still excited. I'm so excited to meet him and I'm so excited to just like start this life so that we can get into it and get used to it. And I'll get into that in a second. So a couple of symptoms I've been experiencing that led to what happened at my doctor's appointment today are I have been smelling more. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, it's always linked down below. Then you guys saw I posted an Insta story, was it yesterday? Yesterday or the day before, where my rings are off. My hands are not nearly as swollen as they were with Maverick at this point, but I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was also 25 pounds heavier with Maverick at this point and not active in the least bit, so I just retained water like crazy. My rings were stuck on my fingers. My rings are officially off so that they didn't have to be cut off eventually because I know I'm only gonna swell more in labor and whatever else. So swelling. Number one. Number two, I am getting back, okay, so months ago, super, super early on in my pregnancy, I told you guys that I was experiencing carpal tunnel symptoms, and apparently that's fairly normal in pregnancy. You can actually, like, literally end up with carpal tunnel in pregnancy. It's, like, actually a thing. Well, that lasted for, I think it was, like, a day. I feel like it wasn't long at all. I don't remember exactly. But lately, in the past week, these three fingers, the tips of my fingers, go numb. Um, first thing in the morning and late at night when my fingers start to swell more, I begin to feel pain when trying to make a fist in my right hand. So, all of that leading to today's appointment, where I guess I'll first talk about progression. Last week, when I was checked, I was at a one centimeter. I was so happy and so convinced that today I would be at like a three. Um, I didn't progress at all with my firstborn. At 40 weeks, I was still closed. I was a tight one, they said, which is basically nothing. So this time when I went at 37 weeks and was told you're at a one centimeter, I was like, great, my body's doing things. This is what happened today. So you guys also know from last week, I went to get blood work to check for preeclampsia pre because I was having some symptoms. Granted, the two biggest symptoms that are looked for, I 
was not experiencing. My blood pressure has been perfect this entire time. Um, my swelling has been minimal. Apparently, according to the doctor that I saw today, she is concerned that I have preeclampsia and that it's just developing slowly because my symptoms like the mild swelling, like the mild headache I get, like my fingertips going numb for as like a carpal tunnel syndrome, she feels is something to be leery about. So I have to go tomorrow and get more blood work. And then I also have to go tomorrow and get an ultrasound because I laid back and she measured my belly and she, this is what's honestly so frustrating. I don't understand like what makes doctors think this is okay. All right. So I laid back and she's measuring me and she says to me, oh, you're 38 and one today. And I said, you know, yeah. And she said, oh, he's not measuring that. So at first I'm thinking like that could go either way. And honestly to say it like that, oh, he's not measuring that. I was honestly assuming maybe smaller, but no, she says he is measuring bigger. I smell a poop from you. You stink. Should wrap this up quickly. So she tells me he's measuring bigger. So immediately she stops measuring. She starts typing stuff in my chart. And I said, well, how much bigger, what do you mean? How much bigger is bigger? And she just says, well, um, just not true to size. Like what the freak does that even mean? First of all, I said, what does that mean? Like she goes, well, I don't want to alarm you. She goes, but, um, I do want to order you an ultrasound. When's the last time you had an ultrasound? I said, my 20 week anatomy scan because nothing's been wrong since then. And when you're low risk, you don't get any more after 20 weeks. So she is so concerned about his size that she wanted me to get in as soon as possible. And then she's talking about induction because if he's too big and if I'm having symptoms of developing, developing preeclampsia, I'm gonna have to be induced. So I've already done my crying. I'm not gonna cry about it anymore. I said to myself, and it's still true, obviously I just want Kane to be okay. I want him to be healthy, but I was hoping and praying that this time around I could at least do this on my own, have my body, do what it's supposed to do on its own. My kid is destroying my house. I know, don't make comments about it. So to even hear the word induction, I was like, really? Because I've been expressing to the midwife that I've been seeing, like I said, today was a different one, how much I really didn't want to do that. And she had no concerns only a week ago. And now all of a sudden I'm developing preeclampsia and, and my baby's huge. <laughs> it's just, not 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 what i was expecting so also aside from that she asked me if i wanted her to strip my membranes because being at at least a one centimeter they're able to do that so i said yes please if you can if that might help us along for it to happen on its own let's do it up so she did and for anybody who has never had a membrane sweep or stripping or whatever the heck i know it's like different terminology wherever you go um, it's not comfortable. They are literally manually with their fingers opening your cervix, dilating you. So she said she was able to, after being in there for what felt like forever, she was able to get me to a tight three, which she said, I'm calling it a tight three, but I'm not going to say it's a three because he's really high up still, <laughs> which is crazy because I just don't feel like he is like what I'm feeling does not feel like that. I'm just so confused. And the end of pregnancy is honestly just a freaking shit show and I'm over it. I don't mean to be so negative. Like I said, honestly, what it comes down to, I want him to be healthy and I want him to be okay. I don't want to experience anything like I did with Maverick because it was traumatizing and it just wasn't enjoyable by any means. So I don't know, that's where we're at. Make sure you're following me on Instagram because I don't know if I'll get another bump date in We'll see, depending on my results, I might be induced as soon as the end of this week. So, or beginning of next week, I don't know. We will, we shall see. But I also might not be, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I won't know until I get results back. I'm just a little paranoid and frustrated and upset to have heard what I've heard. But anyway, like I was saying, I don't know that I will have another bump date because I don't know if I will still be pregnant by next week. So make sure you are following me on Instagram. I will keep you all posted on my Insta stories when my results come back and I have more to tell. If I become aware that I won't be pregnant by next week, then I will make sure to let you guys know on Instagram. But I'll also let you guys know if I am anticipating another pregnancy update. I will go ahead and show you my very large bump.
and that'll do it for this one thank you all so much for watching please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel if you hit that thumbs up button whatever higher power you believe in just please say a prayer that everything is okay with this baby that i'm not gonna have anything to worry about that even if the worst case scenario is that i am induced that he is okay because at the end of the day the scary thing is induction wouldn't even be a thought or a potential outcome if there wasn't some concern with him not being born soon. Whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in, please just send good vibes and send a prayer or something. Can you both get out from under my desk? No. Hi. 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 It would be really appreciated. So until next time, as always, I hope you're all enjoying your day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.